South Africa's opposition politician Julius Malema, who heads the Economic Freedom Fighters Party, is at war with Kenya's opposition leader Raila Odinga. On July 29, 2023, Mr. Malema made a fiery speech in which he castigated Mr. Odinga for disrupting Kenya by engaging in a war with Kenya's President William Ruto. Mr. Malema had this to say to Mr. Odinga. We want to make a call to Kenya, especially to Comrade Raila Odinga, stop doing what you are doing. Do not disrupt Kenya, we need peace in Kenya, Malema said. The president, William Ruto, was democratically elected and I will not allow you to use the people to disrupt the peace in Kenya. Odinga, who is the leader of Azimio, a coalition of several opposition parties, has been leading a series of mass protests that have resulted in the death of at least 20 people mostly shot by police. Odinga said recently that South African President Cyril Ramaphosa had offered to mediate in talks between him and President Ruto, but that President Ruto had rejected the mediation offer. Odinga said that President Ruto also refused mediation by Tanzanian President Samia Sululu. Odinga claimed that President Sululu had gone to Kenya on invitation by President Ruto, but the Kenyan president refused to show up for the mediation meeting. Odinga said that the Tanzanian president stayed in Kenya for two days. The statement by Mr. Malima has angered Mr. Odinga and his allies. The Orange Democratic Movement, ODM, which is the major party in Azimio coalition, made a strongly worded statement dismissing Malima's sentiments. ODM Secretary General Edwin Safuna said Malima is ignorant of Kenya's political scene and called him a victim of propaganda by President Ruto's government. It is clear that Comrade Malima, watching Kenya from a distance, is not familiar with the delicate socio-political fault lines in our nation and makes the faulty assumption that his approach in fighting injustices in South Africa can be replicated here, Safuna said. Safina said that if Malima was seized of the facts, he would know that Kenya is largely a dictatorship falsely basking in the sun of democracy, in which nearly all elections since 2007 have been fraudulent, and where the wrong president has been sworn in each time. Safina added that if Malima had bothered to look beyond the Kenya Kwanzaa regime propaganda, he would know that the protests in Kenya were against obscenely high taxes, rising cost of living and government refusal to listen to the people. I have no doubt that if Malima was Kenyan, his Red Army would have joined us in their numbers on the streets, similar to what they recently did in South Africa, Safuna said. Safuna extended an invitation to Malima to visit Kenya so that he can understand that Odinga's party is fighting for the same things Malima is fighting for in South Africa. It is not the first time that Malima is addressing the Kenyan political situation. When Kenya held presidential elections in August 2022, Malima sent a congratulatory message to President Ruto after he was declared the winner of the tightly contested poll. Malima told Odinga to concede defeat and urge his supporters to maintain peace. The EFF calls on the rival, the contestants and in particular Rayla Odinga to accept the results of the elections and act with restraint with their supporters, Malima said. Odinga refused to accept the results of the presidential elections and petitioned the Supreme Court to nullify President Ruto's win, alleging massive rigging by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC. The Supreme Court rejected his rigging claims and ruled that President Ruto was validly elected. The Supreme Court is the final arbiter of election disputes in Kenya. However, Odinga refused to accept the court's verdict and has been holding a series of demonstrations to force a political settlement with President Ruto.